so let's uh we're gonna transition here Hey yo, hey yo, what it is and what's good, y'all? Welcome back to 280 Plus, the social media podcast where I take the conversations off the timeline and go beyond the tweets. I'm your host, Lowe's Def, and we got a special recap here of Suburban Screams. We are diving into episode five. We just got one more episode left um, before the end of this season. And I'm here with my guest, Marijani, you know what I'm saying? Here to talk talk about uh, this Don't week's Don't be saying ep- my government with johnny tsunami um and uh yes yeah, so I'll, I'll cut that out whatever but um but well i guess yeah you are you the only person with that i think you are the only person with that yes. name. spelled like, like that yeah in the world oh it's spelled, spelled like, that. like that definitely really but pronoun- there's pronunciations kind of like mine i guess what is the like what is is that like is there an origin of your of that name is it no like- my mom made it up okay oh shout out to your yeah. mom shout out to your mom so um but yeah so i'm here with johnny and uh episode five uh what's this called curse neighborhood yeah curse sure. neighborhood all right we'll go with that. she said we'll go with that is i think that's what it was called i don't know suburban screams okay maybe i didn't i didn't get that all right all right so this week um we get um so basically just a little overview um we have a family Right, and this one is in Maryland. So again, so it's like kind of getting closer. This is in Charles County, Maryland. And I, what I know about Charles County, shout out to my man Chad Visioner. Um, he lives there. He was a he's a former guest of the show. He told me something about like that is like the richest. Uh, I don't I don't know if it's like wealthiest people, wealthiest black people who live there, or the wealthiest what? like most mostly black county like in in that area, or whatever. Like it's what's the state. It's in Maryland. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Charles County. I didn't County, catch it on the show. That's why I asked. Yeah, so like, so this shit is moving up north. So maybe this last episode is about somewhere <laughs> in PA, or whatever. So it's moving up. So yeah, so something about so Charles County is a it, it is an affluent area, um, and and predominantly black people. And then our the the guest or the the lady on here, she was a black woman, and this yeah. a bla- features a black, black family. family. So that makes sense. So. So, so this one was about a family um, torn about torn apart by something they couldn't see. Um, and basically, the 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 woman talks about like base the the they weren't the same people when they moved in to when they moved out. All right, and um, so yeah, so just kind of an overview. They move into this neighborhood. Um, everything is nice, you know. what I mean, it's it's a, a woman. Um, do they have two kids? Yeah, two daughters, uh, husband and her mom. Was it her yeah, mom? Yeah, I, I think it was her mom. Yeah, and then the, and a grandmother, and then um, you know, they move into this area, and but prior to this even starting, they give us like an overview of like this area was, you know, what I mean, it looked like it was some like settlers and Native Americans and and things like that. So um and and like a reenactment of like these settlers getting killed by native americans after there was some type of struggle for this land right so that's what happened you know centuries before this family moves in here and then um they just said that like yeah like weird stuff just like started to happen um to the family like so they have these like creepy woods that are like right in their backyard yeah i mean and i don't know i just that always gives me a weird feeling like you know what i mean when when you have a backyard and you got like shit that you just can't see that far behind like it's cool to have a backyard but like when it go into like some creepy shit that somebody or anybody could kind of sneak through i don't know that don't make me feel good um but yeah it's a nice you know nice area and like i said they feel like it was just an aura that was like making them feel different like so what what do you what did you take from that or like what did you if you want to pick up on the the summary here um so i i mean i felt like it was a spiritual thing like okay. um it kind of felt like adam adam avail horrors you know that's the same consensus and then um that guy had commented on what was it the, was that the that wasn't the last episode we did was it uh with the with the house the guy that commented that was- he said that was his brother Oh, yeah, that was two episodes ago. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about... Oh, okay, yeah. So he said that when we were talking, if you remember the episode about the house and we didn't know if he was, like, schizophrenic or yeah, stuff, he yeah. said that his his brother was not schizophrenic or anything and that the land was actually on um, 
native like it was native land like it was indians right yeah yeah i think yeah so it's kind of like the same consensus and i feel like i hear that a lot as far as when i like because i'm a horror fan so i feel like that is a common thing where you know the house is haunted and stuff like that on native american land yeah. so i i just felt like it was like definitely a thing but it what threw me off was the people like it would show the spirits but it would show the white guys like it would show the settlers so okay. um that was interesting, but they were like basically telling them you don't belong here, which I mean, I guess some settler shit. So yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I guess think it's definitely it's definitely one of those things where you wouldn't believe it if you didn't see it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, one of the things you wouldn't believe if you didn't see it. Um, I guess just in your your mind, like um, you know, we we talk about like moving up and and like getting out of like urban areas and things like that, whatever. Like, does moving into a nice secluded area ever kind of give you any worries? You know what I mean, like if you were to you know be well, you know what I mean, you live you live in a you live you don't live in the city, or whatever. But I wouldn't say you live in a secluded I don't area. Live secluded, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't live secluded. You live. I've never in a, town. Live in a secluded area. Okay, okay. What, and what what are the reasons for that? What are the reasons for that? Because I'm scared. It's not my comfort zone. Yeah. Like I want to be out of the city to the point where I'm not hearing like too like it's not too much violence going on around me. Better schools, better location. Yeah. But I also don't want to be like five miles from the next house or anything. Oh, I like. Yeah. I like neighborhoods, communities, like, you know, kids running around playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? A sense of hominess. I'm not that person at, like, so, and I felt like that comes from growing up in the city my whole life. Like, yeah. I can't, just, especially even moving out here was kind of an adjustment. Um, yeah. From it being so quiet, like, you're used to noise. Yeah, so yeah. it was definitely traffic. Yeah, we're used to traffic mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, moving, you know what I mean? Yeah, you definitely want, want to move up to a point where, yeah, you are sometimes you are like the only property whatever but like if it's yeah if it's too secluded if it's gonna take people a long time like emergency services a long time to get to me or my loved ones yeah you know i mean that always makes me feel a little bit uneasy yeah that's a little different um when there ain't no motherfucking street lights nowhere and it's just <laughs> pitch black i'm like this yeah, is no. dangerous like y'all think the city land. is yeah y'all think the city's dangerous that's dangerous if i can't see shit out here like you know what i mean <laughs> Anybody, any random person can lurk into my yard. Like, that's what I'm saying. They Word. had the GPS backyard. I'm like, that's like, the what? shit that be scary. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, and why is that? Like, uh, yeah, it's just weird. Like, I think black people, like, I think that's scary to us, whatever. Cause, like, you know, yeah, people make me feel more, com I have more comfort around people right. to an extent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause, you know, sometimes people are crazy too, but. Um, so, all right. So living, so they live in this nice secluded area. Um, yes. So they move in, right. It was it like a week. Wasn't like a week after they moved yeah, it in. It wasn't, it wasn't a long period of time. Somebody, a motherfucker, there's a shooting, there's a shooting, whatever. Across and then the they, street, yeah. Across the street. And, uh, they find that. So then they get the, they got the nosy white neighbor comes over. You know what I mean? And she 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 already gave me vibes too. I weird feel like vibes. The, the nice neighbor is weird. Like don't don't knock on my door. Like I, I know that's a custom thing, like you know, customary, like, oh, get the apple pie. I would feel mad weird if if a if a family like welcomed me like that. I ain't gonna lie. To yeah, you, they didn't do that to me out here. They just started <laughs> talking to me. <laughs> yeah, you could talk to me, but don't give me no I don't want no you you got yeah. animals because I don't want no I don't want <laughs> you got that food. <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't want that food. I don't. I mean, you might have cats on your damn fucking, you know, counters, space, whatever. So yeah. So the lady and there was a suicide, right? Suicide. That's what the shooting was. I mean, a guy killed himself across the street, and then she starts doing all this research, and then she starts finding out about all these other incidents in the neighborhood. And my thing was, ain't you supposed to do that before you move into a neighborhood? Like, ain't you supposed to kind of like do your research as to like what's going on like or you know what i mean do do people just kind of overlook that type of stuff or what i didn't i didn't but i mean um my kid's grandma lives up the street so i guess i was familiar with the neighborhood a little bit but, okay 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 but i feel like that's not something because i mean especially in depending on the market nobody's doing all that you you be waiting to buy a house for forever okay okay so i guess people yeah, so people are bypassing that whatever so then um, after that, so after they see the shooting, um, they said the next few weeks get really weird. 
um there was a weird domestic dispute with the like so the grandma seemed to have seen a spirit the guy seemed to have seen something out in the back creepy woodsy well, backyard yeah. right and then then there's like a beef between the grandma and the and the dad so like he yeah, was like looking, the dad was possessed yeah he looked possessed and did he try to put po- did he really try to poison the the old lady well, i don't was know that, if he was put that, mayonnaise in her in her, he she said that he put mayonnaise, and she he knew she was allergic to mayonnaise type shit. Yeah, but she kind of stopped coughing, so I don't know what the fuck. That was about. Fuck, well, time out. How are you like mayonnaise is literally eggs and oil. It's not like a oh. lot of ingredients. Like how? So are you allergic to you? So you don't eat no big goods, bitch. Like you like you? How are you allergic to eggs and oil? Like, mm, yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah, ain't, ain't nothing in mayonnaise. Yeah. Like, it's but like then grandma leaves, and she's like, I'm out. Yeah, she's out, whatever. Um, and they both look like they just had some some shit going on. And then uh right after that, whatever, um, again, they still saying like it's weird. The 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 husband, he falls off of a fucking ladder and like breaks his ankle or foot, and then he had already had a broken foot because the woman said that like he broke broke like both of his feet, whatever. And she Yeah, just- he already had a had a broken foot and then um it broke once it healed he fell off the ladder and broke the other foot and then she's like he's been doing this for years like that's not something that just yeah yeah so you either gotta be really unlucky or this is like or is yeah or yeah the ghost is pushing your ass off of there or something like that you know what i mean and then it gets it gets weirder again um he she says that he breaks out into this like violent rash on his back whatever oh and- yeah it's I felt like that might have been like um, yeah. She poked size. it and she poked it, and a maggot came out. Did you see that maggot yeah, that came out? I that said, was that had to be dramatic. Size. I said, "What? Well, how old? How nasty and Drop festering off. is this wound that he got living organisms falling out of it? Whatever, like that yeah. was that was crazy." Um, and then um, she just felt like his health was deteriorating. Right, their relationship started deteriorating. He started getting abusive to to the kids. Mm-hmm. And then she told him he had to leave. Yeah, physically and emotionally. And then um, she tells tells me that she has to leave. And then it's still like we didn't know where he went. Right? No, she just said like he found a place to live. Like like mm-hmm. he found another place to live. And then um. Then the husband, like, I guess, how long, how long before the husband dies? It wasn't that long. I, I have no idea, but she did say he was in his 50s and he was in good health versus, before they even got in the house. And yeah. it couldn't have been in the house that damn long. They couldn't have been in the house that long, whatever. Yeah. So Because then the older, the older sister, she sees, she's in the laundry room and she sees a dead body, which is a spirit. Yeah. And then she leaves. And then it's just mom and the little sister. And then they, what, they left in the middle of the night. Yeah, eleven. Yeah, and they end up moving to the UK, whatever. So, so yeah, I guess with something like this, whatever, like how much, how much stock are you putting into it? Um, is it? I mean, I, I definitely feel like um, stuff like that, like where, where if if land is on like some, you know, because they're very spiritual people, the Native mm-hmm. Americans, so whatever. So I can imagine, like you know, they their spirits kind of wreaking ha- havoc whatever but again it was weird that we don't see none we ain't seen none of that like yeah we've seen the settlers so um and we're saying settlers because it was the obvious white white guys it was white yeah. spirits yeah. but um yeah i don't know i believe in all of that because i believe like at amityville horror like i grew up on that and i feel like that was a real thing where someone like you know what i mean we see it all the time well not all the time but like i feel like houses do like hold spirits i feel like so especially on the land that it was created like we can't just ignore that if you're a spiritual person so i feel like that does especially she said she's seen it what what's the difference in other than the fact that y'all moved into this house yeah you know what i mean you didn't have an occurrence with him this whole time your kid the oldest looked like she was about 13 maybe yeah 14 so she said he was a hard worker he was good then he changed to like a slob on the couch drinking beers yeah so I feel like that can that's one of those things that like can only be summed up to a few things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, I mean, it's I don't know. Like I the spirit thing, it could it could be something there, whatever. I think um 
I don't know, his health deteriorating. Like, I think, I mean, he does have a little bit. He was a little bit unlucky with the, you know, breaking parts of his limbs. That was limbs. not luck. I'm telling you, that was not That luck. wasn't bad luck. That wasn't bad mm -hmm. luck. Well, so you, so like a spirit pushed him. Like, like how come, how come she was never harmed? Like, how come only he was harmed, like, by the spirit? I don't know. You see that a lot when you hear stories like this, where not everybody in the house experiences things until people, like, start leaving and never coming back. And then, you know. They don't have nobody to, you know what I mean? And she also was the person that, I don't know, wanted to stay. So, but then she ended up leaving. Once it was her and the daughter, then she starts seeing stuff. So people start leaving and they, you know, they only had. And then the daughter even said, she's like, I just didn't want to scare my mom. Didn't want to scare my mom. Yeah. So like, I guess, I, I guess that's the only thing where it's like, you got to see it to believe it. But like, it's like, it, it makes you question like, well, yeah, how come everybody wasn't affected the same way? Um, the whole time, you know, when, when older men, like, yeah, I mean, they suffer different kind of injuries and stuff like that. Like that's, that is a kind of, like when people are going through pain, that is a common like uh way for like addiction to start. So like him, him turning to alcoholism, you know what I mean? Like his, and his health deteriorating, it was, I mean, probably wasn't letting his shit heal. Right. Whatever. But then adding on to the alcoholism but like i don't know how much the spirit was involved in that but again Not sure but again the spirit if 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 the spirit injured him in the first place then i guess you know what i mean it got everything started whatever but yeah he was acting possessed though and that was that was kind of weird just because like how he was looking ever since he came man. back to the woods he was at that dinner table table looking mean as fuck mean as fuck yeah mean as fuck scary as fuck whatever I don't know. I think I think the lesson is like, you know, definitely do your fucking research if you're about to move somewhere. Um I, I would imagine though, yeah, in the South, like there probably has had to be a lot of that type of stuff. Like not even just um True. spirits like I mean, anything East Coast, yeah, you you talking about Native American stuff, Midwest, you're talking about Native American stuff. In the South, I'm, I'm like, do you think there's spirits of like, you know, slaves and slave masters and yeah, you know I mean, like terrorizing these places as well? I don't know. Probably, like, yeah. Yeah. So I didn't like this episode though. It was boring. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. I was like, uh, like, you know, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't too much like to kind it of it wasn't thrilling. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like too much to kind of go off of whatever. So um, the last episode that's coming up is called Phone Stalker, I think it's called. Um, so I don't know, maybe get some some weird, weird kind of obsessive that be interesting. person or something like that. So yeah, so we're coming to an end with this series. Um, so far, what would you say? Like how how has the series been so far? Like if you had to rate it one through five, what would you say? Yeah, what's five? Three. Well, I right, one through ten, one through ten. Six. Six. Okay. I, I'll roll with that. I'll roll with that. Like, again, this is not my, you know, it's kind of cool that these stories are real. Um, but yeah, I, I think they need to, I, I don't think the storytelling is that great though. Like, you know what I mean? And like mm -hmm. tying it all together, like I, like they're letting these people talk, whatever, but like, and they're yeah. trying, they're trying to do stuff with the reenactments and dramatizations, but like, I, it's not necessarily tying and given co enough correlations for me, right. like I, I feel like I need, I need. You're just saying this, and then like, oh, this happened. Like he, this yeah, motherfucker, it's very did, quick. Yeah, he didn't get, like, he didn't get dragged like that. And yeah. like, come on, like, in the like, I think, I think what they're doing, they're doing too much outrageous stuff with the drama that makes it like, all right, bro, like he ain't had no motherfucking maggot coming out his back. Bro. Yeah, like that was crazy. But so yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this how this ends. Um, you know, yeah. we gotta do one. Have you ever watched Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix? Back in, well, I used to watch it when I was a no, kid. like the new it, version of Unsolved is it Mysteries. Good? On is Netflix. it good? Is it good? Yeah, it's like different episodes. Some are, are like missing people, some are, yeah, like, like that one. Yeah. New... yeah, go ahead, huh? go, go. No, go ahead. Go if go. they come out with a new season, we definitely have to do that because I definitely enjoyed theirs because they're always like kind of exciting. Like one episode, I, the one season, it was like an episode about aliens in a certain town and reports of it going off and then another episode was about like a missing person and yeah stuff like that yo when um they used to, yeah it used to be like show on fox where it would be like that factor fiction type stuff and it, it would be that like it's that one guy he used to be on star trek and i don't know if you're familiar with him but whatever he has the dark hair and he and they always do these like memes of him whatever where it's like 
that was a lie that was a fact or that that was fiction that I wasn't understand. the truth whatever but um like them stories i don't know what i forget what that show was called but like yo the first time i seen like an alien like they was talking about aliens yo that shit used to have me so shook like because like you know the nasty aliens with them black eyes and they just mm-hmm. and like like i thought i really thought that was what i was scared of i thought i was gonna get abducted by an alien one day like i really thought yeah. that was a that that could happen because i'm like yeah you know there ain't no chucky there ain't no crazy jason or michael myers guy but an alien, alien yeah that like that might you know what i mean like that scares me because like it, what if they take me away? You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody going to find me. You know what I mean? That's I think that's the problem with it. It's like, yo, ain't nobody going to find me. Like, whatever. That's why I like Unsolved Mysteries. Yo, the old Unsolved Mysteries, you ever watched the ones what, back in the day? Yeah. The music alone used to just scare Oh, me. yeah. That, and the guy, the guy, I forget his name, but yeah, he was, yeah. like, his voice. You know, and, he was on that because he had a missing kid. That's why he was the host. Are you talking about, well, no. Are you talking about Unsolved him, Mysteries? Right? No, nah, you're talking about John Walsh, uh, America's Most Wanted. Oh, okay. He I'm, had, he, uh, I'm not like, saying yeah. I'm not saying that he didn't, but <laughs> definitely John look Walsh. Alike? No, no, John Walsh and that guy don't look alike. Nah. Maybe I'm thinking of I'm thinking of the guy on On South Mysteries, but I think I'm mixing the name because I was definitely thinking John. Yeah, John Walsh but, was, yeah, he was yeah, he was he the, had a missing, yeah. Okay, but yeah, no, I yo, that music used to just scare me though. Even to this day, if I hear that music, I'll probably be like. Well, yeah, I think you're right. The unsolved mysteries might be better because it leaves it more with questions and more open ended. I think suburban screams. We kind of want we want it to be a little bit more open ended. They're ending it, but then it like it don't make sense all the time. You're like, they don't give us too many details. Yeah, not enough, not enough to go off of. Like they're trying to. Like I said, that's why I think it's like theatrics and John Carpenter. He's not. He's trying to be. be you know, he's a horror director, so it's like he's trying to like. Go into a different lane. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. But all right, all right. That's it. That's it for this week. Um, like I said, keep uh, keep tuning in. I I think we're gonna put this um out by itself, and then obviously we got our full length episode as well. Um, but yeah, make sure you tune into the Two Eighty Plus podcast. And again, we got one more week um of of suburban screams and then maybe we'll be back with something else pretty soon we'll we'll let you know we'll keep you posted but it's another episode of 2d plus y'all we out peace all right all right i kept you for too long so peace.